Yo, good evening everybody, what's going on? What game is this song from? Terra Enigma. Wanted to make sure you got to hear that. What's up, our Dominic, Manic Ascendant, PM Collector Boy, Satellite Sun, Two Hit Good, Lay Retro Spice. So hi everybody, happy Thursday. I do hope you're doing well. I'm doing quite fine, thank you. Had a busy, busy, busy day at work. Gonna have another busy one tomorrow. So, that's, uh, that's in the back of the old noggin there. What's up, Arcane? Good to see you as well. You are allergies. You are all the allergies. <laughs> Just an amalgamation of allergies. Yep. Uh, yeah, today was fine. Today was fine. Today just felt like it passed very quickly. Um, because there was, there was work and chores and stuff to do. So we did finally watch the, uh, season finale of Mandalorian and it was good. We were, we were all quite pleased and enjoyed our time with that so the the steady drip of star wars content has kept me has kept me more engaged with star wars than i have been in a long time i think ever since i think ever since mandalorian season two ever since we got we got disney plus and i was able to keep up with the mandalorian as as it was coming out i've been i've been a lot more attached to star wars um than I had been since probably my childhood. I do yearly review, good word, uh, back in a standard pay bump. Nice, very nice. Yeah, I had, I had mine, I think it was last month, and it was, it was good. It was, it was quite fine, so, please. It was actually a Mario and Wario game that used the SNES mouse we never got in America. I should have that, actually. If we ever want to go digging, digging through the archives, I should be able to actually play that. Probably not read it, but I can, I can perhaps play it. Got my quarterly review today, pay bump for next month too. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Mario vs. Wario. Mario vs. Wario vs. Capcom vs. SNK vs. DC Universe vs. The Space Mutants. Can you imagine the vegetables Mario uprooted in SMB2 were sentient? I always kind of assumed they were, because they have faces. Why would they, why would they have faces if, if they weren't sentient? And then you like bludgeon people to death with them and shove them down Wart's gullet to make him die. <laughs> so, it's honestly probably not a very good condition being a vegetable in the Mushroom Kingdom. Probably just doesn't work out real well. Mushrooms have faces, don't they? I mean, look. Ser look, okay, look, 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 look. Seriously, in in the Mushroom Kingdom, everything has faces. In in this in the blue panel, on the left hand page behind Wario to the right, there's a hill with a face on it. Okay, every fucking thing has faces, except piranha plants. Weirdly enough, they just have mouths. I guess I guess it depends on how horrifying they want things to be. I knew too many people have faces so I could barely get to their ascension. <laughs> Mushrooms have nipples in that weird game Oddish played the other day. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what, ha what happened to the what now? What game was that? <gasps> oh! Oh, that's right. That's right, the, the giant areola shrooms in Equinox, yes. I'm not playing it again, <laughs> just to show you that. Uh, if, if you forgot about that or if you missed that, just just visualize. Just, just build your own memory out of it. It's probably gonna be hotter than what we actually saw. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really wanted to play through that game. I really did. I wanted I wanted to see the later parts of it, but it is unkind. <laughs> it's a very unkind game. So probably for the best. I thought that title was Mario vs. the World. <laughs> the precursor to Scott Pilgrim, perhaps. You know what they say the nipples of the eyes to the face to the chest? <laughs> oh yeah, that old that old chestnut. The mushrooms have eyes too. How can you tell those weren't just weird eyes? 
if you're talking about the areola shrooms, it was a very different context than, uh, than say, power-up mushrooms in the Mario games. Equinox was just just kind of forging its own path there with, with, with weirdly anatomical-looking mushrooms. Between the early Mega Man block of 2, 3, and 4 and later Mega Man block of 8, 9, 10, which do you like better in general, the early one? I'm definitely, like, Mega Man 3 is my, okay, wait, no, no, no. Uh, Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy is my favorite Mega Man game. Um, if we're just talking NES series or, like, OG series, Mega Man 3 is my favorite. Um, with, with Mega Man 2 right behind it. I'm also fond of 4. Um, but yeah, the, the early Mega Mans is, uh, on the NES. And, and, the, actually, I think that's kind of true. That's true for the NES Mega Mans and the X Games. Uh, I like the early X Games. I do not like 4 and after. But X1, 2, and 3, love those. Does Mega Man Soccer fit into that? I don't know, because I've never played it. I never really played any, I never really played any of the Mega Man spin-off games. Like, I played, don't you love the va in X4? I don't like anything about X4. <laughs> Oh, good. Good job. Spice found the areola shroom so they can share with everybody. Now we, all of our lives can be enriched. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to Google them. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, what did you turn up? Yeah, okay. Yep, there they are. There they are, all right. Ribbed for your pleasure. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, so as far as Mega Man goes, when I was a kid, I played I played one, two, three, four, and five. Um, I had two and three. I rented the other ones. Or in, in the case of four, I tracked down a used copy that was in such terrible shape I could barely get it running. So I struggled for like an hour to get it running. Once it was running, I played all the way through it in one sitting and then returned it. <laughs> Saved myself a little scratch there. Um, and then I haven't played six. I played seven and seven is weird. There are things that I really like about seven and there's things I really don't like about seven. I haven't played eight. I played nine and beat it. I played 10 and dropped it pretty fast. And I don't even remember why at, at this point. And I never played 11. And on the Game Boy, I have... I've played one and two. I don't think I've played three. So tonight, tonight's gonna be a little special because of that. And then I've beaten four and five. And then the X Games, I have beaten one, two, three, and four. Um, but I never went any further with the X series. And then I never played, I never played Zero or ZX or Battle Network or anything else. No, no, I, I, I pretty much only played OG Mega Man, uh, the X series, and then until I started streaming, I had only played five on the Game Boy. Five was the only one I actually had. Well, it's your lucky day. Yeah, I know, they, they just released a Battle Network collection on Steam, didn't they? Um, not a, a, as if I don't have the, all the GBA ones just here for me, but yeah, um, I haven't made it, oh, and Switch, nice. I haven't made it like a life goal or anything to play through all the Mega Man games uh, like I have with uh, Zelda. But, but I ain't again it neither. And we're certainly gonna play every Mega Man game that we come across at, in the magazine. And then beyond that, who knows? The sky's the limit. It's all, it's all up to my moods, really. If I'm in a Mega Man-y mood, if I'm in an adventurous mood, who knows what we might do. Maybe one day I can just div divest myself of all sense whatsoever and play one of those damage uh, shufflers that Smite does. I love watching those so much. 
Seriously, one of my favorite things on, on Twitch is watching Smite do those Mega Man damage randomizers. I haven't been able to catch his latest one, uh, where he put like something absurd, like 69 games on it. I, I think some of them on there aren't even Mega Man games. He just went completely nuts. And he's 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 been working on it for like a dozen sessions or something. But anyway, that's my experience with the Mega Man series. I have played a lot of them, but very, very heavily weighted towards the earlier one. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot that I don't know about the series, and there's a fair bit that I'm not interested in, namely the, the later X games. Because I had a friend, I, I had a friend in high school or college, I don't remember, who was a big fan of the later X games, and really wanted me to play them because he knew I was a Mega Man fan, and I was just, after I finished 4, I was like, no, <laughs> no more of this. I've, I'm, I'm good, thanks, so... Marvel vs. Capcom Mega Man game, he's a playable character. I mean, if ye, you, you can certainly define it that way if you want. I mean, there's a lot of ways to look at, look at Mega Man games. You could go with ones that just say Mega Man in the title. You could go with ones that are like Mega Man and Mega Man adjacent, like, you know, like the misadventures of Tron Bond and stuff like that. Um, and then you could go with anything that has Mega Man in it, but I mean, then then you're gonna start roping in like weird mobile games and shit. Hit RPG Mega Man X Command mission. You can also play as role. Is role ever playable anywhere else? Ah, wasn't role playable in? Probably not. I thought I had something in the back of my head like she was playable in Mega Man 10 or something. Probably not. Think of Mega Man X3 is when Capcom started giving enemies too many iframes where they were hardly no uh, when they were hardly noticeable to you in previous games. The X series is balanced a bit differently around that, and it definitely gets worse. Um, I actually don't remember how it is in X3. It can't be that bad because I, I like X3. But I know by X4, that's when like you. That's when like you shoot a boss and you need to like, you need to just like hang out for the next five seconds or so while their damage immunity wears off. And God, I fucking hated that. Remember rolling the 3D Mega Man? I think the second one. Is it Mega Man also in Namco X Capcom? Probably, probably. Uh, wait, ugly, ugly Mega Man 1 box art Mega Man is in one of the games. I remember that. That might that that might be the Mega Man that's in Namco X Capcom or something. It's also in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, unsurprisingly. Role is playable in the PSP Mega Man 1 remake. Oh, that's cool. X is in Project X Zone. Roll uses Sailor Scout pose, the enemy is stunned, roll flash. Oh jeez. <laughs> See, sometimes I don't even know when y'all are kidding or not. M in MVC3. Oh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is ugly box art. Okay, okay. I knew there was an ugly box art Mega Man in there somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Which I, I am led to, to believe did, did not help that game's lukewarm reception uh, in addition to the other problems that it had. But yeah, so this, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of Mega Man stuff we could do. If, if we felt Mega Man-y, but we're doing Mega Man stuff tonight. Um, I believe Mega Man 3 is at the end of the Game Boy content for this issue. So the plan for tonight is to work towards it. And then hopefully uh, if it's a solid game, because I don't know, I've never played it before, beat it. Um, I did not beat, I don't think I beat Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge on stream. And I definitely didn't beat Mega Man 2 because that one, that one commits war crimes on your ears for the temerity of just trying to play it at all. <clears throat> A lot of people are salty about that. Thought it was Fat Mega Man, not Ugly Mega Man. No, it's, it's, it's Ugly Box Art Mega Man. He's got like the yellow outfit and everything. Meant to be haha, you got a bunch of games so you put in a silly cameo thing. Mega Man Dot actually get a bunch of games. Yeah, long time rivalry with Phalanx Man playing banjo. Making brief internet outages is a daily thing. Ooh, you might wanna you might wanna
contact your ISP, Dom. Something might have happened on one of the lines near you. I'm just thankful that my internet has been as stable as it has around here. Um, weird cutoff I had on Monday night notwithstanding. We do occasionally have outages, but they tend to be during the day. Not, not during streaming hours, which is definitely a plus. Goddamn squirrels. Oh uh, yeah, it's it, the weather's warming up around here. Um, it was actually pretty pretty nice today, and I think it's gonna be genuinely hot tomorrow. And that's gonna bring the, the squirrels back out. And oh boy, I'm sure they're just gonna go ham on these wires at some point. Mega Man clone that uses the characters in Kimono Friends called Mega Serval. Oddly enough, the sprites look nothing like the anime characters. Weird. Weird. Glad the storm in Austin didn't knock your power and internet out. I didn't even know there was a storm. Pretty bad one, huh? Ah, this music. Ah, this music brings back a lot of memories. A lot of fresh memories now, since we did uh, Yoshi's Island not that long ago. That was a good time. That was a real good time. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. I Probably because I saw the Mario Brothers movie on Friday, I've been thinking about playing some kind of Mario game. Perhaps, but I'm not sure what it would be. I'm not sure what I would dig up because I've done, at this point, I've done the two big Mario games on the Super Nintendo. Um, I could drag the Switch in here and do one of the re-releases that they put on there if I really wanted to, if I wanted to get ahead of the curve. I don't know, that's something else is rattling around in the back of my mind. I'm thinking about a lot of things that I could stream. Um, now now that I've, I've loosed myself from the bonds of scheduling. So God only knows what we're gonna end up doing uh, next week. So yeah, I might as well give you a quick schedule reminder. It's gonna be a real quick schedule reminder because you know, whatever. Um, and then we can get right into the magazine and, and psychoanalyze Mario and his best pud, Wario. Uh, tomorrow night! Tomorrow night, we're doing a weird old wheel. I have, uh, carved out a selection of point-and-click adventures that y'all have suggested I take a look at. We're gonna take a look at them. Uh, wind through as many of them as we can. By the end of the night, I'm hoping that we can pick one of them, uh, to rise above the others and join the shortlist to be considered for a full playthrough in the hopefully nearish future. Uh, it'll be joining the only game currently on that shortlist, which is Might and Magic 7. Which, yes, I know Might and Magic 7 would be quite an undertaking, but at the same time, I really kind of liked it. And I think I would probably be okay uh, diving into another uh, big old school RPG. Because I definitely don't regret doing Fallout 1 and 2. When we did those. So... It all just depends on what we're what we're doing when. So, but anyway, that's tomorrow night, and then uh, Saturday, of course, we'll be back to the power hours. Whatever we get to in the magazine tonight, as far as we get, we'll pick up right there on on Saturday. I don't stream on Sunday, and then on Monday, <laughs> I've decided to fly seat of pants. Uh, if you would like some context on that, check out the vod for last night's just chatting stream. But. I feel like doing whatever the hell I want. So we're gonna see how I end up feeling over the weekend, and I'm gonna decide my streams based on that. We might be starting a new, not longish, but multi-night playthrough on Monday, or we might do some one-off stuff. I I may curl up in a blanket and do hidden object games all week. I don't know. We'll we'll find you'll find out when I find out. <laughs> Snag Chief game that emulates the C64 called Black Jewel. I think Kickstarter was successfully funded for a Genesis homebrew fusion called Black Jewel Reborn. Interesting. Do you want to make chat laugh? Tell us about your plans. That that really gets to the heart of it, Grunt Fodder. I I got I was so I was so hurt and so disheartened by people always laughing at my plans and making fun of me for for never following through on things. I was just like, well, damn it, I just won't make plans anymore. Mm. Oh, it's the hardest fix. Just imagine you throwing a bunch of uh, bones on a mirror divine, which game you'll play. <laughs> now that sounds like a Friday night. Hey, Otis, you lack of planning sucks. Thank you, RV Winkle. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Anyway, let's talk about the magazine. Let's get into it. Can you commit to not committing? I don't know. 
it's a bit of a commitment. And I, I at times fear commitment, but I'm trying to commit to not committing. I'll let you know how, how the committal goes, so. I don't want to plan, shouted Oddish improvisationally. <laughs> <laughs> I have no chat. It's it's not my choice anymore. I've come down with I can't plan anything anymore. Disease. What's up, chaos? How do you do, fellow gamers? We do we do good tonight. We do quite good. We choose by committee. I we could we could be bring democracy back in a more immediate fashion. Whereupon, once a game is decided by vote, we just started immediately. We're talking about being committed. Chat's, chat's always got that in their back pocket with me. They would if they could, I'm sure. The liner sign-up sheet? No, we'll all do it together. It'll be a big party. How do we choose the committee? We'll have to form a committee to appoint committee members. Um, who, can then, who can then forward suggestions and recommendations to the proper committee. When do we create the electoral college for which game you play? Well, we need we need a map. We would need an electoral map uh, that then people would form committees to try and gerrymander in their favor. But then we would need some kind of uh, judicial body to rule on the committee recommended uh, map divisions. And then we might need a legislature to vote on it, to vote on the map delineations so that the electoral college can then take over from the committee. <clears throat> sup chat, sup, sup Shodan's alpha version brother. What's up Fury Fighter, good to see you. Take it slow chat. I called dibs on speaker of the house. Overthrow the Congress, territory votes, not people. Now imagining a little fire lizard fucking around maps. The gerrymander, yeah. Robin Georgie Mander. Here we play a round of King of the Castle, winning Noble House gets to pick the next game. That's actually kind of an interesting idea. Um, one of the streamers I used to, to watch started doing, um, I think it's a free game called Marbles on Stream, where it's like it's like marble races that, uh, that has Twitch integrations, so you can, I, I believe, you can race with your viewers or whatever, and whoever won the race got to pick the next game that they would stream. <laughs> yes, do this, I bought the game and designed my own nobles, let's do it. Oh, you've seen that? Okay. Mobbles. We could, we could. I mean, there's lots of ways we could do it. Uh, we could go with this. I could, uh, I could load up golf with your friends again and whoever gets the lowest score could pick the next game we play. I don't know. Who can say, really? Who can say? <laughs> but I like these ideas, these are good ideas. I will, I will tuck them away for when I feel like throwing caution to the wind and let y'all pick what we're gonna do. Participate in marbles is silly fun. <clears throat> Throw it in my mouth a little while I'll mention of gerrymandering. Oh, well, it's, it's all in good fun around here. I don't even have any territory to gerrymander. Not that I would if I could. <laughs> you want the lowest score in golf? This is very concerning. <laughs> Spin the wheel to determine who gets to choose. You only face the wheel if you break a deal, Manic. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Mario versus Wario. Okay, so... I feel like I've mentioned this comic before, perhaps not by name, but I know I've mentioned that I have a favorite comic in, um... in Nintendo Power. And it actually isn't this. <laughs> it actually isn't this. But this is my second favorite one. Um, between, between the big comics, between the runs of the big comics, they would do these like these little compact one-off ones. Like I think, I think the next big comics start from February, like after this. Yeah, it's the Peach's birthday one. I I absolutely adore the Peach's birthday one, for for many many reasons. But this one's right up there too. Um, as much as I love the Super Mario World comic for its art style, for its humor, for its absolutely priceless faces, I do kind of feel like these little compact ones done by the same artist have a bit more punch to them. And I think they work really well as just as just single issue self-contained things. They're very cute. <laughs> I like this, you spin the wheel to spin the wheel to spin the wheel. 
so yes, the premise here, the premise here, chat, is very simple. Mario receives a letter from his old pal Wario. It's been too long since we've gotten together. Please come to a party at my house today. It's going to be lots of fun. I can't wait to catch up on things. Who are you? And Mario's like, it's from Wario. I haven't heard from him in, in ages, Wario. What trouble we used to get into during our school days. So, important note here. Um, comic Mario, at least Nintendo Power Comic Mario, uh, did not grow up in Brooklyn or the real world. He grew up here in the Mushroom Kingdom with folks like Wario. But they played in the garden. They played cowboys. They did some kind of experiment with coins. And apparently it's been almost 20 years. So it's high time for a reunion. I'm on my way. Well, what does Wario think about this? <laughs> Artist is defo master of the craft, the face is own. I know I've talked about this. I really need to look up some of their other work. Like, um, you know, they're obviously J Japanese manga artists. I've never looked up any of their stuff outside of Nintendo Power, and I would really like to do that. But yeah, so Wario has decided he's going to get his revenge for all of Mario's dirty tricks. It's been 20 years, he still makes me furious. I, I remember the time Mario asked me to pick vegetables in his garden. When I went to help him, he took the row of turnips and left me to pick piranha flowers. I screamed for help, but he just kept picking turnips. All right, definitely not a good look for Mario here. Also, what kind of sociopath grows piranha plants in their garden next to the turnips? If not some kind of defense mechanism. <laughs> Wario would be like, I am less conventionally attractive than Mario. I must be a villain. No, Mar Wario has pathos in this. He has, he has cause. He has Cassus Belly. <laughs> I'll never forget how hard those Prado flowers bit. Another time Mario told me he showed me how to flatten coins, but I'm the one who almost got flattened. As a kid, I never fully understood this panel because you only see Mario here. I is, oh no, 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 no. I think, I think looking at it more closely now, I think between the thwomp and the word thwomp in this panel, I think that's a flattened Wario. I think that's his hat, and I think it's his flattened fingers sticking out there just under the thwomp. It is? Okay. Wow, I just, I just solved like a 30-year-old mystery for myself. <laughs> I can finally sleep easy, chat. It's like a great weight has been lifted from my soul. So, but then I, I must, as an editor, I must observe, I must comment. Um, the text says, I'm the one who almost got flattened, which is captioning a picture of him literally being flattened. So, I'm sure you can understand the confusion there, chat. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you can see where I'm coming from on that one. It still gives me the willies thinking about it, and worst of all was playing cowboys. We must have played Sheriff and Rustler 1,256 times. Extremely specific. An extremely specific count. Mario got to be the Sheriff 1,255 times. I was Sheriff once. The rest of the time he made me be the Cattle Rustler. He got to arrest me. And the one time I got to be Sheriff, he made fun of me. And this is a rather awkward looking panel here. Like these faces are just so well done. You can see. You can see how hard poor little boy Wario is trying to enjoy this himself and just laugh it off and Mario's just being such a dickhead about it. Just such a raging little shitter. Baby Sheriff Wario is so cute. He's adorable. He really is. He really is. And then God, these faces that are bookending it. The bottom left panel face, I fucking love it so much. I'll show him it makes a better sheriff. It's not some nerdly, nerdly. It's not some nerdly plumber. Now I'm mad all over again. I'm really, really mad. It's his turn to take the punishment. I'll pay him back all right with 20 years interest. Oh, what interest. Yeah, the rage Wario faces are indeed powerful. They are very, very powerful. If, uh, I'll tell you this right now, Chad. I'll, I, I will head off the suggestion. If the faces were complete, 
I would absolutely add them as uh, as channel emotes. But unfortunately, I would I would have to get an artist to to complete them properly, and that can be pretty challenging, honestly. So, moving on. Uh, Mario's hiking through the woods, thinks he's getting close to Wario's, and then this big pointy nose thing is like, Mario, are you Mario? He's like, yeah, plumber extraordinaire at your service. Well, I'm, well, I'm in the mood to clean your pipes. <laughs> in the chat, I don't know how you would respond to something like that, but, um, it would get more than a raised eyebrow from me. And Mario's like, sorry, gotta run. Maybe next time. And he's like, wait a sec, I'll teach you to come poke around where you don't belong. And then, um, hmm. And then runs his nose right into Mario's outstretched fist. I had a date like that once. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope it ended the way you wanted. It was great. Okay, good. It was great. A happy ending indeed. Uh, his nose comes off. And then he is he is sweating bullets here as Mario notices a little um, dangly bit. What kind of creature is a stinger nose beaver anyway? I think it's supposed to be some kind of rat or mole or something. And yeah, apparently it's a party popper, and Mario just blasts him in the face with his own nose. Uh, and he's like, "What a party animal!" Wish I could say. And Wario, I, I feel like they may have mistranslated this panel. It, whew, that was close. I think, it's, I, I think it's more supposed to be like a sigh. Like, ugh, that was too close. I almost had him. So, okay, at this point, two things should be very apparent. One is that they're running through the story. Uh, what, what could pass as story for uh, Super Mario Land 2 because these are the bosses of the different lands in Super Mario Land 2. And also, that they're playing Mario as just the most oblivious moron imaginable here. Like, Mario is just not picking up on the fact that any of these people want his ass dead. And you'll see that here with the three little pig heads who have such an easy time with us. And then one of them's like, let's get rolling. And then Mario's like, bowling, and shoves his fingers in the pig's nose, and then crushes the other two with him. Whereas like, drag, nothing's working. Oblivious yet a vicious bully of the local wildlife regardless. Yeah, really kind of lends credence to Wario's version of events, doesn't it? Really, really kind of makes you think, doesn't it? And then an extremely stereotypical witch shows up. You're no match for my magic. Fry, little guy. Mario dodges. Um, <laughs> the witch boss actually sets uh, the tree boss. I think it's the tree boss on fire. The, the big bird. So Mario doesn't even have to deal with him. Uh, the witch lights the fires under pots, launches lids at Mario. Uh, they land on his feet. This is maybe the closest, this, this, yeah! Panel at the very bottom is maybe the closest Mario comes to realizing that he's in mortal peril here. But then he's like, hey, thanks for the lift, gotta go. And he just starts walking across the lake on pot lids. So, yeah. Sorry, I was blocking that one. Uh, now, <laughs> okay, now, speaking of bullying the local wildlife, he walks along and finds the water zone boss, the giant octopus. Halt, I'll not let you pass. Mario's like, whoa, monster octopus. And then he's like, I don't get it. What's an octopus doing in the freshwater marsh? Everybody knows that an octopus can't live in fresh water. And the octopus is like, go fucking what? And he's like, that would explain why I've been feeling sickly. Mario's like, I knew it. And then Mario is apparently carrying around a giant sack of salt in his satchel. This will do the trick. I'll add a little salt. That's very kind of you. Oops, it's sugar. He just murdered that guy. He just fucking killed.
killed that dude. So, uh... So... <laughs> and Depressed Cat is like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and then Mario... I assume fully cognizant of the fact because because he he is astute enough to know that an octopus should not be living in a freshwater marsh. Should be astute enough to know that he fucking murdered this guy is like, well, time to hit the road. Not even an oblivious murder. I think he's just straight up overlooking it. I think he's just like, well, not going to process this. Doody doody do. I got Wario's cross eyes and giant size down pat. So yeah. You assume Mario cares about life? I mean, you can see here he doesn't! You can see here he doesn't! Callous disregard! For his own actions! This is a behavior that Audis appreciates. And nope, not your process is meat mood. <laughs> so Mario gets his spoopy ass looking castle. Finally, this must be Wario's place. Wario! Wario! And then Mario, being the oblivious dingus that he is in this one isolated comic, runs face first into Wario's crotch? I mean, if we're considering his size relative here, I think I think Mario just just snoot booped his junk. The grungus. The <laughs> God. And he's just like, oh, Wario, are you home? And like, Mario, I didn't think you'd make it this far. It's me, Wario. And Mario's like, holy fucking shit, you got big. All right. And Wario's like, I have a score to settle with you. Okay, so now Mario gets it. Wario is trying to murder him. He's gained a little weight there. He knows uh, a valve. He pops it. Wario deflates back to normal human size, right in his mushroom kingdom. Now that's the Wario I remember. And then Wario just fucking loses it. He just, he just breaks down emotionally. Well, what's the matter? Talk to me. Mario, you big bully, you haven't changed. You're still the insensitive lout. You always were always picking on me. And then, and then, and then. I, I think, I think this is extremely telling here. I think this is so incredibly telling. Me, a bully, what do you mean? It's been 20 years. Let bygones be bygones. Not denying it, not refuting it, not trying to explain his actions. He's just like, that was so long ago. Ignore the fact that I killed the guy living in your moat. Just forget about it. Yeah, the ax forgets the tree remembers. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Come on, cheer up. Don't be such a wimp. Yeah. Now that, that is a toxic relationship. Yeah, sever, please sever. And then, and then, just to drive it home, because I know as a child, as, as, as an idiot youngster, I got to this page and was like, Aw, Mario's making nice with evil Wario. Now they can get along again. And look at, look at, I mean, look at how happy Wario is in the third to last panel where he says, let's have some fun, just like the old days. And Wario's like, me. And then I brought something with me. Now, where is it? And Wario's like genuinely into it. And then Mario's like, well, let's, let's begin the cycle anew. Your ruthless Mario will get even somehow. Will Wario ever get over the inequities of his childhood? Will he ever get even with Mario? And will he ever get to be sheriff again? Imme yeah, immediately shoots Wario. Just like, just like pops out of there. And I mean, you gotta consider between the penultimate panel and the final panel, that means that Mario like just forced the cattle rustler costume onto Wario and he's just accepting it while Mario shoots him with his little, little bean gun or what, what the fuck ever. Yeah. Yep. This is, this is why we stand Luigi here, chat. <clears throat> Cancel Mario. Maybe Spike was right to bully you, Mario. <laughs> oh God. Just, I was, when I was driving to work on Tuesday, I passed a right hand of God, right hand of God. I passed a, a plumbing truck 
and the dude driving it was literally Spike. It was literally him. Same face, same jaw, same beard, same glasses, same everything, and I just fucking lost it. I was like, I was like, Illumination did their homework on this shit. It was so funny. <laughs> but yeah. I wonder how far is it? I guess we still got a ways to go until we hit uh, Wario Land, huh? I don't remember what, that, what issue that is. I want to say it's, I think it's past 50. I'm pretty sure it's, it's past issue 50, so probably 94, if I'm remembering correctly. But I want to play that. I, I borrowed it once as a child from a friend and played like, I want to say maybe like halfway through it. I don't think I beat it. Although, although revisiting it might unlock some memories for me. I don't know. We'll see. Wario uh, Sheriff was a fun WarioWare bonus. Oh my God, he's in WarioWare? <clears throat> Luigi was always a better brother. Bunch of Wario apologists. I mean, we have it documented here. RV Winkle, you cannot refute this. You cannot refute this. Real talk, my whole team got laid off today because of stupid and irresponsible CFO. Hanging out here has really helped my mood today. Thank you, everyone. Either. Well, I'm glad I can do what I can to help, and I'm really sorry to hear that, dude. It's That is about as shitty as it gets. When people have to lose their jobs because of just poor, poor management, terrible decisions that are out of your hands, that is the fucking worst, so. Yep, if I can if I can help lighten the load by indicting Mario for his for his toxic relationships and his bully complex, then damn it, that's exactly what we'll do tonight. <clears throat> History is written by those on mushrooms. Or I guess I guess there is written by the sheriffs in this case. So yeah. Hmm. Be all right, it's just annoying as fuck. It's nice to just forget about things and laugh about stupid shit like this. Here, 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 here. And I think actually, I think now that now uh, that we're past this, oh yeah, we're not even on to the Game Boy stuff yet. We got some other stuff to do. This is interesting. I kind of remember this. I kind of have, have a dim memory of this. The Power Players Challenge. Let the power, uh, let the challenges begin. The Power Players page has now become the Power Players Challenge. What's more, we've decided to increase coverage of your high scores by expanding the column to two full pages. Each month, we'll set challenges for Game Boy, NES, and Super NES games. On the opposite page, uh, we listed some of the high scores of Nintendo's top gameplay counselors. See if you can match your scores. Better yet, see if you can beat their scores. To record your gaming accomplishments, take a da, 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 da. So, um, during 1993, Nintendo Power decided to issue challenges for specific games, which I think is pretty cool. Um, they are not, they are not equal. <laughs> Some challenges are definitely harder than others. I don't know how well you can read these, uh, on the stream, but I will read them for you. The challenge for Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is co to complete the game in under 10 lives. Um, I imagine that might have been more difficult when I was a child, but now, I mean, I don't even remember how many... Wait, did I did I die did I die at all when I streamed a link to the past? I don't even remember. Uh, the Metroid 2 Return of Samus challenge. Can you finish a game in 2.5 hours or less? Definitely doable. Um But you gotta you gotta know the game pretty well. You gotta know your route ahead of time. Dr. Mario, can you beat level 24? Uh Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been particularly good at Dr. Mario. Is that number of heart containers or number of, number of deaths? It is number of deaths. The Zelda games do keep track of the number of... I guess technically it's the number of reloads on on the save file screen. Because I know... I, I think... I'm trying to remember... I think maybe when we did the original Zelda, I didn't die during the playthrough, but I think I stretched it over two nights, and so it listed one because it, it was a, I, I did have to reload it once. Kind of saw it coming, tried to warn your team. No one took it seriously. Not that anyone would have been able to do much about it. Got a nice severance package out of it. Well, I, that's good at least. 
That's that's a bonus. What is this song from? Oh, this is a Super Adventure Island song. I feel like we probably commented on that the night I streamed Super Adventure Island. Also, Otis, there's a uh, fair chance I might torment you with bad games if we pa uh, pass by them. Oh, I, I think that's that's already pretty well assured. I think actually everything in the Game Boy section has been requested already. I think, but we'll find out. Um, Super Mario Kart, how fast can you finish Mario Circuit 1 in the time trial mode? Okay, so this is an open-ended challenge. This is just to see how, how fast you can do it. Track and field, how high of a score can you get in the competition mode? <laughs> Not very. NES Open Tournament Golf was the lowest score you can get on the Japan course. Phalanx, how high of a score can you get on easy mode? I mean, that's not really a challenge. That's just seeing how much score you can rack up. Uh, Prince of Persia, how much time do you have left when you complete the game? And Kid Icarus, how high of a score can you get when you finish the game? So, so really like three specific challenges, like, like binary, yes or no. Um, and then six that are just like score challenges. And then this is interesting, uh, they, uh, oh yeah, they they recorded what their gameplay counselors were able to do. Uh, for Legend of Zelda, the the lowest lives used is four. Um, then two had five and one had eight. Um, the Metroid 2 fastest time was two hours, 15 minutes. And then they have four people who could beat Dr. Mario level 24. Super Mario Kart lowest time on Mario Circuit 1 was a minute, just under a minute 12. Which seems pretty fast. Track and field, apparently the score caps out at 10,000 because Don Carroll was able to get that. NES Open Tournament Golf, Greg Louder got 14 under, which is like, holy shit. Phalanx, uh, over half a million points. Prince of Persia. Tom Christensen had 13 minutes left over at the end of the game, which means he must have beat it in, what, 47 minutes? If I remember correctly, you, you have to beat Prince of Persia in, what, one hour or two hours? I can't remember. And then Scott Callahan finished Kid Icarus with 899,990 points, which sounds to me like some kind of cap. Either a numerical cap on how many points you can get in the game, or just it can't count any higher than that. I guess, functionally, that's the same thing. In my head, it meant different things, but, you know. Lots of things mean different things in my head. So, anyway. Feel free to play along at home, chat. See if you can topple these challenging challenges. And if you do get a high score or a low score or a notable score in any of these, let us know. And we'll revisit this in the next issue or po possibly run back to this one and compare and contrast. But for now, we move on. Okay. For now, we move on to the incredible Crash Dummies. I'm pretty sure we streamed this before. I'm pretty sure we did. It's also been requested so stay your hand. This one is already on deck. Yeah, I think every, I think all the Game Boy games have been requested already. So you can you can save yourself a bit of coin there. Yeah, somebody saw this in the I don't remember if it showed up in now playing or something. Yeah, I I remember this one too. Because it plays very differently from the NES one. The NES one is much more of a conventional platformer that sucks. Uh, this one has a, a different angle to it. Um, Spin and Slick are a pair of hard-working crash test dummies who really need a vacation. The problem in any late-stage capitalist society is money. The regular job doesn't pay very well, so they're moonlighting to pick up some extra dough from their vacation fund. In LJN's new Game Boy game, they hire on his movie stunt doubles, they test air bumpers, they make test runs on a ski slope, they work extra hours in a bomb factory, and even higher on to gui uh, guide guided missiles to earn money for a vacation. I don't think I got to the guided missile one. Uh, if you're a big fan of the Crash Dummies, and you know who you are, all one of you out there, you'll like the characters, but you might be disappointed by the lack of depth in the game. Nintendo Power pulling no punches here. You can play through all five stages quickly and start back at the first stage again. The stages become a little bit more complex each round, 
but scenery doesn't change. Did you do this in NES one side by side? I may have, yes, I may have. I may have just uh, decided to do that one that arbitrarily to compare them. The fact they were both in the NES version and a Game Boy version is something. I have no idea how to feel about that. I assume there's a Super Nintendo Crash Dummies game that I never played. Um, I remember the end. Well, at this point, I remember playing the NES and Game Boy ones. I, I didn't have either one as a kid because I wasn't a fan of the Crash Test Dummies. Um, but I do, I do have clear memories of the coverage of the NES and now the Game Boy one. I don't remember coverage of a Super Nintendo one, but I feel like, I feel like there probably was. Because like Super Nintendo, for me, chat, I don't know, I don't know how many of y'all had a similar childhood um, marked by the passage of Nintendo Power, but for me, I have much clearer memory. There is an SNES one. Okay, well. Can't wait to play that bullshit. Um, for me, the early years, 92, 93 uh, of, of the Super Nintendo, I remember much, much, much clearer than I do the later years. I feel like the, the SNES library really exploded in 94 and 95. And I just wasn't keeping up with the games at that point. There was stuff that I was really, really interested in. Your Final Fantasies, Secret of Mana, um, Yoshi's Island. I was definitely getting games, but I wasn't, I wasn't casting a, as wide a net. Um, and there were just so many. And I'm honestly really looking forward to getting to that era of Nintendo Power because it's gonna be more stuff that I'm unfamiliar with and probably some really interesting stuff tucked away in there. And I remember Nintendo Power having to expand their coverage significantly, do a lot more just like one or two page uh, briefs on games just so they could fit everything into the magazine. Everyone loves that hit mm -mm 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 song. I mean, I have mm -mm 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 stuck in my head for days. Thankfully, I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. I assume there was an incredible Crash Dummies TV show that I never watched or something that had like a, a, a toxically catchy theme song or something. I love some of the big spreads the Square Games got. Secret Mana and Chrono Trigger got really good covered up to a point. Yes, yes. So, um, spoilers, I guess, for 1994? I think. I don't think they started in 93. I think they started in 94. But there were so many RPGs and adventure games and really deep story-driven games coming out that Nintendo Power added an entire section, uh, an entire monthly section for them called the Epic Center. And oh man, that was like, that right there was like peak Nintendo Power. That was like the, the, the golden age for me. <clears throat> Crash Test Dummies were an alt-rock band with a one-hit wonder sort of track record. 1993 or so. I think Game Pro had the same model with two pages per game. This is a new album a couple of years ago? Holy shit. <laughs> well, how about that? Anyway, so uh, day one, they're, they're working as stuntmen falling off a building. Day two, uh, testing the effectiveness of air bumpers on cars by driving through an obstacle course and crashing into a brick wall. Seems to be in their <laughs> wheelhouse. How about that? Day three, testing a ski slope. And then uh, day four is the bomb factory. And day five is guided missiles. I feel like we did day, we, I feel like we did through day four, but I don't remember the guided missile bullshit, so. As well as the crash test dummies were a wonderful change from the marketing plan to get people to wear seat belts before that. My brother just loves slugging me in the arm while saying, go belt someone today. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you can't really argue with the effectiveness, right? They uh, they might not have been the marketing powerhouse that greedy executives wanted, but at least for the for the safety campaign, was your brother Mario? <laughs> for the safety campaign, at least, it sounds like it it worked some uh, worked some wonders. All right, well, we have to play this bullshit now, so let's do it. Let's do the thing, chat, and do it well. Well, I, probably not around here. 
Let's do it acceptably. <laughs> All right, so the real question is, what is this gonna be under? Incredible? Are you incredible? I really need to organize this better. In incredible Crash Dummies! Huzzah. All right, you be quiet. Oh, it's that weird Super Nintendo terror reading game. Also, Master System Crash Dummies game that really, they really covered their bases. Companies like LJN, once they got their mitts on a license, they were not about to let any opportunity slip through their fingers. Unfortunately for us. Hey, we get smashed into things. Yeah, 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 whatever. Player one, lives five, day one, difficulty easy. Slick, today you have to do some stunt work. Jump off the building and create a smash with the director. Don't forget to hit the target. Do y'all prefer if it be under the or incredible? Definitely incredible. Don't, don't ever sort something under the. There are too many titles to start with the. Okay. So I think we want to, okay, that animation is actually pretty solid. I like that. Lean slightly towards incredible is the most important is consistency, however it is, yeah. Arg! So I think you want to hit as many interesting things on the way down, like awnings. Yeah, 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 my score is going up. I think we want to avoid the fires. Oh, but we're also timed. So we can't we can't just stay on the awnings forever. And I think you can ow. I think you can grab those uh flagpoles. Oh God, okay, might have some trouble getting through here. Oh, never mind. okay, we're good. <gasps> Boom! That was boring, now go back and have a smashing time. I'm sorry, what? How was that boring? Even the Legend of Zelda, definitely. That should be sorted under Legend. You'd even be tempted to ignore the super at the front of some game titles and storing SNES. I mean, it's also a plague on the old NES, too. Um, the problem there is sometimes you do have an actual distinction between a regular version of a game and a super version of a game. Oh, okay. So he can actually, like... Haha! -ha! Okay, I did manage to grab that one. Okay, you can keep going on. Okay. How was that? You gotta get a break in this business somehow. <laughs> All right, I made two dollars and twenty-eight cents falling off a building twice. Day two, it's like today you have to smash test a new car air bumper. Pick up the air cans because the air bumper is a bit flat. That's a really well run test then if they didn't even bother to inflate it all the way before running test. Also, is it just me or does Slick look like some kind of like faceless mannequin that's holding up like a, te a test dummy mask over him? This is what retail feels like. Like, that's just a weirdly put together image there, I think.
Air. Fix. Money. Good. Things are good, I guess. All right, so I need as much air as possible. Ow. Does it matter if I run into things? Oh, God. Uh, okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh, there's a one-up over there! Shit! Okay. Day without demolition is like a day without sunshine. All right, well, I made a bunch of money off of that. I didn't make any cash the last time I fell off a building. What did I do wrong? Were you insured? Slick, your job today is to test out a new ski slope. Try and hit as many flags as possible, but you must hit 15 to complete the job. Okay, like, literally hit them. Oh god, oh god, the controls are ass. Oh god, the controls are so bad. Oh my god, the controls are so bad. He's got such... Oh, God. He swings so hard when he turns. Oh, I hate it. Alright, I think I'm doing okay. I think I've, I think I've hit enough flags, as long as I make it to the end. This is one of those things where it's like... Probably all of these trees and rocks and shit kill you instantly, and I just got insanely lucky and didn't run into any of them. Game is the sadist wet dream. Tub uh, property literally right next to ours has no electricity due to storms. Damn. You really know how to keep your cool. I made $10, chat. Slick, today you're on quality control at the ammunition factory. You must pack 40 bombs before the day is out. Or die. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing or how to do it. Oh, I've, okay, I have to blow out the... Okay. Blow out the fuses and smash anything that isn't a bomb. I can do that. Woo! 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 Take that, face. Woo! Blow harder. Woo! Should we, should we really be destroying our brethren like this? Also, I'm sorry. How does the bomb at the bomb factory come down come down the line with a lit fuse? Oh no, don't blow on your leg. Shit, fuck, ass. Oh god, damn it. Okay, we're good. We're good. This is actually a little scary, chat. This is a DS game you have to shout in the microphone. Fortunately, the hit detection on blowing is really big. Hey, slamming and jamming. I'd say it's scary parts of other workers are coming down the conveyors, yeah, and I have to destroy them. I have to physically annihilate them. So I think because I got perfect, my day's pay was doubled. Slick, it is time to go for a cruise and a cruise missile. Hit the target, bang on, and have a smashing time. All right, I guess this time we're destroying military targets. Is this, oh God, okay. Oh God, oh, what the fuck, man? All right, so this is this is very solar jet manny. This is very solar jet manny, damn. Fortunately, I'm good at solar jet man. Yep. Okay. Ooh, I want that. Not that I need it or anything cuz I haven't failed yet. Or I guess I failed one time. I didn't even notice if I lost a life because of that. Also, I don't know how long this course is, so I don't know if I'm, like, severely running out of time or not. Unlike, unlike the other modes, there's no meter to show me how close I am to the target. Oh, there it is. 
Oh no, I missed it. God damn it. I'm an accident waiting to happen. All right, I guess I, okay. I guess I did lose a life on the uh, stuntman job because I'm back to four lives and I did pick up a uh, an, an extra, so. No streamer just submitted the first 100% world record speed run for Solar Jetman today. No kidding, that's really cool. I like that game, that's a neat game. I think the one-up might actually be back every time you go through. <gasps> Shit! Oh, fuck. Never heard of Solo Jetman in my life. Great, great classic NES game. I did a full playthrough of it years ago and had a really good time with it. It's got a great sense of humor, too. You're working for, like, the United Federation of Space Loonies or something? Okay. Music's slightly fallen -sy. Give me that. So, I see a lot of other missile ports. I'm guessing on the higher difficulties, once you start looping the game, there's just a lot more missiles. Okay, I remember this part's pretty tight. Yeah, okay. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop right above it, like so. Boom, there we go. Did it. Sounds like Solstice intro. Hey, you're supposed to be a crash dummy, not an air ace. Oh boy. We made 26 whole dollars, chat, by sacrificing our bodies. And then the video game loops. And that's enough for me. I'm not, I'm not. Also, I like that the difficulty is now okay. And that's that. So, um, yeah, I gotta, I really gotta side with Nintendo Power on this one. I think if I had had that game as a child, I would have felt kind of ripped off. Um, it's, like, <sighs> the levels are fine, I suppose, but the fact that there's just those five and you can play through them in, what, like, ten minutes? And then the game just expects you to loop through them over and over and over again on higher difficulties? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I, I ain't buying what they're selling on that one. Sorry, not sorry. So, yeah. Uh, still better, still better than the NES game. I have no, I have less than no desire to ever play the, uh, the NES Crash Dummies game again. But if, if, if this shows up somewhere later on and gets requested again, I wouldn't be that mad, because honestly, it doesn't waste that much of your time to try and go through it, so. What's next? Battleship? You sunk my battleship, you piece of shit. Um, actually, chat, nobody's requested this one. So, unless people really want to see it, we might just, might just float on by. From board game to Game Boy. Classic board game that's entertained generations of battle strategies comes Game Boy in a basic translate, a basic translation. Man, Nintendo Power is not pulling any more punches come 1993. It's true to the original right down to the ocean grid, although a simple game by today's video standards, it retains the basic fun feel and remains an entertaining strategy challenge, especially in the two player mode. Stages become progressively difficult, progressively difficult, progressively more difficult, you illiterate fucks. And then more complex weapons and attack vehicles are added as the player advances. All in all, the game can keep Battleship fans entertained for a very long car trip. Everyone has seen the classic movie. We've already lived it. Hey, what? Um, so the board game players view their own ocean grids and only guess where their opponents place their ships. The Game Boy version is less opportunity for sneaking a peek over the dividing wall. 
Uh, use radar a limited number of times to try and pinpoint enemy ships. Without radar, they have to systematically sweep the grid with whatever weapons they have to just find and destroy the fleet. Um, so yeah, you know the ships. You know the ships. You love the ships. They're battleships and destroyers and submarines and frigates. The cruiser, the carrier. Um, so actually, as you go through the game, you earn new ships. The cruiser you get at level 16. Uh, can take four hits and launch the Sea Sparrow and Tartar missiles. There's a full-on recreation of the second bat naval battle for Guadalcanal. I'm gonna be pissed. You get the massive carrier at level 32. It takes eight hits the, and serves the base for the F4 Phantom and the F14 Tomcat. Um, so apparently you have different weapons in this. Like you can you can get different airplanes and weapons that hit different areas. So it's interesting they say it's a basic translation that's true to the original when it looks like it has a lot of stuff that you can't do in the original, which is weird. Also, we played another game way back called, wasn't it called like Radar Attack or Radar something? It had some really generic name with Radar in the title. There was like a really creative take on the battleship formula where you could do like, like you could move parts of your fleet and like you could call in reinforcements and airstrikes and stuff and had some really neat animations in it. Like, I remember that game being really, really cool. But yeah. Um, another radar attacker gone. I think Nintendo's first game was a submarine game. Like their, their first, first game. F4 Phantom, when the Air Force decided to take the approach to strap a pair of wings on a big enough engine, it should work just fine. Radar love. So yeah, it's Battleship. You know Battleship. Battleship exists. Now, what you might not know is the humans. I mean, it says right here, you've never seen anything like them. I forget who does this art, but I love this style too. I I think, obviously, obviously the, the left-hand splash is done by a different artist than whoever did this right-hand key art. But this this art style on the left, I love it. Stone Age Adventures. Imagine a downscaled version of Lemmings with a Stone Age twist. In its newest release, the stony individuals at Game Tech are offering a pretty cool Game Boy puzzle game. The object is to guide one of your available humans to the goal in each level. The goal may be to pick up a certain item or rescue a member of the human tribe. Using items such as spears, torches, ropes, and wheels, you can help the humans survive the hazards of the prehistoric world. A password feature is definitely a bonus. You can always start over at the last level you completed with a full complement of humans in reserve. Make sure to check out the manual too. It's great reading. Human. I know, I'm hearing the Ferengi pronounce that in my head right now. <clears throat> it's lemmings, but with humans. Screen scan. At the beginning of each level, you press select, then press the directional key to scroll around the screen and view the terrain. You will see where you ultimately need to go and what you'll need to do to get your humans there. Careful with that spear. Your human will need a spear to help vault across gaps in the rocky terrain. Make sure the human is standing on the very edge of the gap. You can then chuck the spear back across the gap for other humans to use. Be careful not to throw the spear too hard and strike one of your fellow humans. <laughs> Also, don't underthrow the spear or torture rope. They may fall down into a gap where you'll never be able to reach them again. If your human is running severely short on time or caught in a strange predicament and dire need of a special item, press down and the select button to visit the tribe's witch doctor. The lives of your remaining humans may be sacrificed for valuable items such as spears and torches. Okay. That's exactly what you're going for, the Ferengi pronunciation. Someone requests battleship and humans already. Humans, yes. Battleship, no. Nobody requested battleship. So, uh, just a little peek. This is it. This is all they have for the humans. They don't, they don't outline any levels. They don't, they don't run you through the tutorial. They don't give you any, any breakdowns of how the other tools work. That this is it. This is it. You can look around the screen. Uh, you can throw things and you can sacrifice humans. Shame because the Game Boy Battleship actually has another game mode that's kind of cool. Well, it looks like we're doing it now. God damns it. <clears throat> but let's do the humans first. 
The humans? No, the humans. The humans. The humans. Humanitas. The people sisters. You perfect human. I was about to do that. <clears throat> you can always count on somebody here. Um, can we do like this? Can we do this? And then do I have to scroll through? Oh, I I can scroll through. Humans, comma the. Run it. Run it back. Boing. All right, shut up, Equinox music. I've had enough of you already. You know, really, I just might remember what I mean. Uh, that was Battleship with a sort of FPS mode. No, that was Radar Attack. That was that was the totally not Battleship that we played quite a while ago. In fact, I don't know. I don't know what Game Boy Battleship proper is like, but I suppose we'll find out after this. Radar Attack was genuinely cool. That was like that was like a genuinely neat game. We'll 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 see how Battleship measures up. That's a dinosaur. Don't paint on that. Oh my god. This is like this is like beyond anime eyes. These people don't have heads. They have eyeballs with hair. Yeah, easy mistake to make, certainly. Dinosaur people did not coexist. Yeah, tell that to Joe and Mac. Please select difficulty level. Easy. Okay, let's enter that code. Oh, uh, there's no vowels. Code in code incorrect. No, I'm not entering any code. No, I don't have a code. I don't want to. Do you have to leave it on XXX just to start the game? I guess you do. Yeah. XXXX is how the game starts. Can I admit something really embarrassing? I thought humans and dinosaurs coexisted until the age of 15. Nothing wrong with that. The chief of the tribe says, let's get the spear. Your eyes are terrified. You have 12 tribesmen. You need four tribesmen for this level. Level time, 0711. Psst, here's the secret code. Nice shades, dipshit. Can I play the video game? It is human. I am human. I don't know what I'm doing. Be a different human. Music isn't loud, but it's overpowering, like a fart in an empty auditorium. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Climb people like a ladder. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Maybe feeling better. I thought humans and dinosaurs coexist until my thirties. Ah, ev evang evangelical, evangelical fundamentalist. Yeah. You can't really help what happens to you in those situations. Are we gonna need a couple people? We're gonna need a couple people. I hope I have enough time for this, Jesus. Evangelion fucking fundamentalist. 
And this is in that badass art of Jesus riding a dino. Get in the robot, Lodra. <laughs> why you need four humans for this. You need you need three to be human ladders, and the fourth gets the spear and gets the lord over all of them. Alright, well I can already say beyond a shadow of a doubt that the key art for this is the best part of this game. What's over here anyway? You need people to praise the sun. At least they know how to be so grossly incandescent. Got that spear! He's so goddamn proud of himself. The other three tribes people are like, you know what? You know what? Definitely one of the games of all time. A whelming experience! I am thoroughly whelmed. Level two. Get that rock. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry, get the torch. Okay. You need five tribesmen. Oh, we're gonna have to turn five people. Um, here's the secret code. Doesn't have any of the charm of lemmings. Or really any of the urgency or excitement or anything. It's a game with graphics and music and sprites that move when you press buttons. <laughs> 9 out of 10 IGN. Okay, so apparently... I just dropped the spear down the pit. Aww. All humans go to heaven. Wow, they really do. Wow, they really do. Now I have 11 tribesmen. I wonder if like one of the later levels requires you to have all 12 tribesmen. So if you wait a minute, the spear isn't here anymore. What the shitting fuck? Yeah, you can pick the spear back up if you don't dunk it, but apparently we just lose. Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> we're done here. I am thoroughly whelmed by the power of the humans. Yeah. Yeah, when y'all inevitably request this one again, Remember that code so we can jump right back to the level. <clears throat> My sequel is Humans 2, Humans 3, the SNES version. Uh, actually, I don't remember ever hearing about the humans ever again after this point. I don't remember seeing it in Counselor's Corner. I don't remember seeing it in the top 20. I feel like nobody played that game. Like, nobody. Um, battle. 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 Mm. I said battle ship. I want battleship. Oh my god, no. Fuck off. No. Yes. Battleship. Look under the incredible battleship. Battle, 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 battleship. Battleship. Much fun as Lemmings is, I don't think it'd be successful today. I don't know about that. We'll never know because for some reason, nobody ever made like, Lemmings likes. They just didn't happen. Start. Level one, are you ready? I, I guess. Damn. 
Place your ship. I'm gonna place it right in the middle. Oh, right, okay. I'm gonna play the, place this one right next to it. And I'm gonna tuck this one right in here. And let's really just sabotage our poor little submarine. Yep, perfect. Decide an attacking point. Here. Missile away! You missed, you idiot. Enemies operations! Sploosh! Love to see people make some modern levels for lemmings, though. Can you imagine the leveling levels that people would design nowadays? Yeah, they'd be pretty wild. They'd be pretty good shit. Phew! Miss! Fire, fire are targeting people. Mario Maker type designer for lemmings? That'd be badass. That'd be genuinely really cool. Who has, who has the rights to lemmings now? Somebody look that up for me. Oh shit! We got one, chat. We got a hit. Man, they're just... painting around the fleet, aren't they? Oh, it's a miss. Okay. This one might be vertically oriented. Bloosh! Decide the attacking point. Boom! Please one let me clone on home in the underdogs way back when. Oh gee, that's a big fucking rocket. Boom! Alright. We're taking damage, chat. This is a version that lets you do a salvo where you can fire off multiple shots in one turn based on the number of ships you have remaining. Oh god. Oh, damn, all right. Wait, do I have do I have access to some bullshit like that? Item. Radar. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Sir, the fucking rocket is ready to deploy. Boom! I think that means... Oh no, it's it's got one more, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. We're taking heavy... <laughs> we're taking heavy losses. Boom! He's sunk! Alright. Uh, how many of those does he fucking have? He hit the same point twice. Suck. Decide an attacking point. Well, I think I lost access to the big... Yeah, I lost access to the big, big Chungus mi missile. Heavy losses, just like the crypto market. Whoosh. Hit. Miss. Miss. AI is questionable in this at best, somewhere between idiot and genius. Now, now the question is, the real question is, will they, will they find the submarine? Oh yeah, I have no more items because all my shit sank. Actually, I could use... That was interesting. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Did I see that this was something? 
I did. Oh fuck, I got their submarine, nice. I got the hard one. Well, that sonar really came in handy. Oh, fuck off. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Sure, let's do it again. Why the hell not? All right, I'm going to place this guy here. I'm going to place this guy... There we go. Here. Put them in your pocket. Yes! Decide an attacking point. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and harpoon them. Right, right in the middle. Let's see what we got. Miss, 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 hit, hit. All right, I got a good feeling, chat. Sure, okay. Um, let's start in the middle. All right, so this is their battleship then. Nice shooting, champ. So that should mean they've got our they've got our number at this point. Hit. Maybe here. Ah, shit, it was the other side, okay. All right, their battleship is on borrowed time. What is he doing? Okay, it seems like the AI, it seems like they programmed the A, the way they program the AI is it makes the right moves, except when it just randomly does stupid shit. That seems to be how they, how they decided to balance this. It sunk. Dunzo. Um, what else do we have? Nothing. I have nothing else. Well, let's sonar ping this area. All right, nothing there. So we did here, let's do here. Nothing, okay. I mean, where are these? Okay, we're at items then, all right. Definitely the most thrilling part of Battleship. So I feel like the AI knows where that ship is and it's just being forced to whiff. You feel the excitement? I feel something. I 
don't think it's excitement. It might be indigestion. Okay, so there's nothing here and there's nothing here. Um, let's drop one here. I guess I need to start checking the edges. Yep, yeah, definitely need to start. Oh god, and there went their submarine. Well, that's good. I got their biggest ship and their smallest ship. Now I just need to find their destroyer and their frigate. Okay. Okay. They're just gonna fucking paint a picture around this guy. Oh, we got a hit. All right. Well, let's find out. Let's see if we can narrow down what this is. All right, all right, it's their frigate. I'm sorry, how many of these goddamn missiles do they have? <laughs> frigate indeed. Yeah! Alright, frigate sunk. Alright, so. There's one ship left, it's three squares long. Should be. Okay, yeah. At this point, there's there's just not that many places where my battleship could be, so go nuts. Alright, um. Alright, so that's clear, and that's clear. So let's, um, drop one there. Okay. I should be able to clear the, the edges pretty quickly. Oh, God. So apparently the destroyer has all of the special weapons. Yeah, that's 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 great. God. God. Okay, look, do they do they have like an infinite number of these special weapons or something or do you just get a ton of them? And I just didn't have access to that because they got my because they got my destroyer first. Like what the hell? Maybe I'll agree this is the greatest game of all time. Jesus Christ, man. 
There's literally only two places on the map it can, it can still be. It's either here or here. We, will the AI let me survive two more turns? <sighs> Alright, this is our last chance. This, this is their last chance. I, I, I would have been so pissed. I would have been so fucking, I would have fucking blacklisted this game. Hooray, we won. Stage one. Apparently there's like at least 32 stages in this game. Stage two, level one! All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. That's enough of that. I, I put one over on the AI, that's all I needed. Be sure to remember QIV next time. There won't be a next time. Don't get your fucking hopes up. So yeah, that's Battleship. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Battleship. <laughs> it's Battleship with an extremely questionable AI. If that sounds like a good time to you, by all means, go nuts. You know what sounds like a good time for me? Mega Man 3. The saga continues and continues and continues and continues and continues. 1993 looks like it's gonna be a big year for Mega Man, the pathological and perennial arch-villain Dr. Wily. I think I might have learned the word perennial from Nintendo Power, come to think of it. Appears to have a corner on the robot reprogramming market, offering up an endless supply of radically altered mechanoids. Mega Man 3 for Game Boy, along with Mega Man 5 for the NES. Yes, that's in this issue, and yes, we're gonna be playing that too. Should be in the store shelves early in the year, one has to wonder when a Super NES version of the Blue Bomber's adventures will materialize out of Capcom's top secret programming laboratories. Ooh. We're still waiting, albeit a bit impatiently. However, for the time being, we were extremely pleased with what we got, so here we go! We played the hell out of that game as a kid. If gaining weight from alcohol gives you a beer belly, does gaining weight from smoke give you a pot belly? <laughs> What's up, Andy? Parental arch villains not to be re uh, replanted each spring. So I can tell it continues until Capcom kind of forgets about the entire fucking franchise. Here we go again! Previous Mega Man games, the task of getting through the stages is relatively easy when compared to defeating each of the sta uh, stage bosses. With Capcom's third Game Boy release in the Mega Man series, it's turned around a bit. Now the stages are more of a test. The enemies are more fierce and attack with deadly precision. Oddly, the boss characters seem a bit easier to defeat. Uh-oh. So here's how this is gonna go. Um, first round we fight Spark Man, Gemini Man, Snake Man, and Shadow Man. Um, and then we do something with Dr. Wily. And then the second round we actually fight bosses from Mega Man 4. Uh, Dive Man, Skull Man, Drill Man, and Dust Man. If, if, for whatever reason you were uninitiated with the Game Boy Mega Mans, here's what happened. Um, Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge, the first Game Boy Mega Man, only had four bosses. They left out, um, Christ, I can't even remember now. I think they left out Guts Man and Bomb Man, maybe? I'm not sure, but yeah, they only had four bosses. Um, and then when Mega Man 2 came, 
No. No, 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 no. Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge only had four bosses from the original Mega Man, and then it brought in four, four bosses from Mega Man 2. And I don't, don't ask me which ones they were. Um, so it did have eight bosses, but it had eight bosses because it, it borrowed four from Mega Man 2. And then Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy used the other four from Mega Man 2 and then four from Mega Man 3. And then Mega Man 3 uses the other four from Mega Man 3 and then four from Mega Man 4. And then Mega Man 4 uses the other four from Mega Man 4 and then four from Mega Man 5. And then Mega Man 5 is completely fucking different. I have eight bosses, Bob. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, three bosses for Mega Man 3, three, uh, f four bosses for Mega Man 3, four bosses for Mega Man 4, uh, and then another Wily tease, and then you have to fight, what is this? If Mega Man has energy tanks in reserve, Punk shouldn't be too much of a problem, although Punk can't be damaged when he transforms into Saw Blade. Mega Buster Blast with normal form should send him reeling, and then any day now, after many, many, many battles, Mega Man finally arrived at the area where Wily resides. All right, here we go. Some highlights. Wow, no... No maps, no maps of any of this. Uh, they make some mention of stuff in the different stages. I mean, Shadow Man just gets this little fucking post postage note down in the corner. Um, the final four cornered after that ship is in there, whatever. Whatever happened to Rock Man anyway? I think the last thing they did with Mega Man was Mega Man 11 a couple years ago. Which I've heard pretty good things about. I would rather like to play it. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, they lost... They lost the stewards of the Mega Man series. Like, everybody... Did Mighty Number 9 take off? <laughs> Alright, you're just fucking with us now, right? He rocked too hard and got Whiplash, which forced him into retirement. But no, I don't think they have anybody at Capcom to really steward the Mega Man series at this point. I mean, 9 and... I think... I think they were going to bring it back with Mega Man 9, and I mean, Mega Man 9 did well. Mega Man, Mega Man 9 sold a bunch, and the folks who were working on it seemed to know what they were doing. Everybody seemed happy with that, and then, I don't know, it kind of fell off with 10. It just, it just lost its momentum again. Um, and then they did 11, and 11 came out, and 11 was whatever, I suppose, I mean, you know, you'd think a new Mega Man game after all these years, and a pretty modern looking one too, would be super exciting, but I, don't, I just, I don't remember people getting really excited about Mega Man 11 coming out, so. Um, on the other sides, I mean, the, the X series was just absolutely face planted into the ground. I forget how far they got, I forget if they got to X8 or X9, but those games just turned to absolute dog shit. Um, and, and that's just, that's not just my prejudice against the later, like, PlayStation, uh, X games. Even my friends who really liked, like, X4, 5, and 6 hated the ones after those. It got to X8? Okay. Mega Man Triple X? Wait, that's something else. Mega Man 11 sold 1.6 million copies? I mean, that sounds really good. Sort of believe the idea they put out 11 just to show up in Afune. I could honestly believe that, too. So, you know, the, uh, the fan game Mega Man Rock and Roll looks really good. How do you feel about the weird JRPG things or adventure games or whatever? I've never played them. I've never played Mega Man Legends. I've never played Mega Man Battle Network. I've only, I've only played the mainline Mega Man games. Um, I played m the majority of the main Mega Man games. Uh, after I play this tonight, I'll play all the Game Boy games. All the, you know, OG Game Boy games. Um, and then I played the first four X games. That's it. Oh, the Legends games? Cannot recommend them enough. Both one and two are goddamn amazing. I love the hell out of them. Sold above the quality of the game. It's not a big, bad Mega Man game. It's just very underwhelming level design. Okay. Probably explains why I didn't hear a whole lot about it. People, people obviously wanted a Mega Man game and they got a Mega Man game, but it wasn't really the Mega Man game they could get, could get excited about, I guess. Which is a shame, but what you gonna do? I wonder if they've got anything planned for him now. 
I wonder if they've got anything in the works. Because it's been a couple years at this point. And I mean, they could, they could very easily do what they did with 9 and 10 and just shop it around to somebody else who has a neat idea uh, about it. Or they might just keep re-releasing collections of the old games. Who knows? 11 great boss weapons. I can forgive a lot for those. Fair enough. All right. Oh, this is from a. This is from. Um, Rockman and Forte. That's funny. We're actually listening to a Mega Man song while talking about Mega Man. I actually didn't like 9 and 10 as much. It fell back too hard on Nostalgia Mega Man 2 and just ignored everything after it. I don't necessarily think uh, that's a bad thing, honestly. I think 9, for me, 9 was just really solid all the way around. Like, 9, 9 was just a very solid, like, it, it had solid level design, it had solid character designs, it had a good flow to it. So I didn't miss any of the stuff that they took out. And I mean, if I remember correctly, that's why I that's that's why I didn't get through ten. Is it just wasn't as solidly built? <clears throat> anyway, well, here's some dudes. Um, I guess start with Snackman. You start with Snackman in the normal one. Mega Man Legend games age surprising well graphics-wise and anime style and played nicely into itself. Go on and on about those games, very <laughs> and gushing about it. Whee! Oh, wait a minute, do I have... Oh, you do have the Buster Charge in this one. That's funny. Because this is after Mega Man 4 on the NES. I like nine lean too heavily and enemies jumping out of instant death pits the last second. The game same could be said of the original games. Oh yeah, oh buddy, oh friendo. Wait till we play Mega Man Five. <laughs> Mega Man Five to me is the meanest of the old Mega Man games. Mega Man Mega Man Five is like working through some issues and taking them out on the player. Doing great. Doing a really great job here. This is a pretty good rendition of Snake Man's theme. They have that really awkward ass jump there that they have in the original. And they have two of these rooms! Hooray. Hammer Joe's, my favorite. Oh, nice shot, idiot. God, Mega Man, quit fucking up! Just hit him! There we go. Oh, yeah, these guys. Oh, weird! Okay. That's a little different. Oh no, fuck! I scrolled the wrong way. And I doomed myself. Thanks, buddy. Good old flip top. Just a... Just a box of stuff with legs. Whoa, hello. I wonder if this has the cloud platforms. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ow. Okay. Interesting they gave this a jungle background. I thought that was meant for the NES Snackman, but they couldn't uh, make it work. Probably just artistic license for the folks that made this one. The. Yeah, parts, parts of Snackman's level are black. Other parts kind of have the scale texture too, so I think it was intentional. I think the Game Boy team just thought a jungle would make more sense. 
Ew, why do you have these? I don't deal with this shit. Oh god, okay. Can I make that? Yeah! I made it. I have issues with Mega Man drop rates. I think that's fair. They are they are different for each game though. Some game some Mega Man games have extremely generous drop rates. Some Mega Man games don't. I I remember that being a problem with one of the games that we played. Like I needed energy for something and I just could not get it. Ah. Okay. So they did away with the cloud platforms, which is nice, because thing those things were jank as hell. Well, I'm dead. No, oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Basically, for the Snuck Man fight, you need the main pillar to get the height to jump over him. Because that's all he does. He just walks back and forth and shoots snacks at you. But the only place where you can get over him is from that central pillar. Nice you can see it coming at least, yeah. Ooh. Make me a flying sideways. Yeah, I'm so mad. You got search snack and rush coil. Wait, they don't start you with rush coil in this? All right, snack's good against uh, Gemini Man, I think. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going off the original game here. Ew! I hate these. Penguin! Ow! Okay, that's a really awkward way to shoot that projectile. Because it means you basically have no chance to shoot it down before they launch it. Oh, fuck. Ow! Penguin, stop! I'm out of here. Kind of impressive how- Whoa, hi. How close is this to the original song? Well, shit. Yeah, the music in this game, well, I mean, look, after Mega Man 2 on Game Boy, like, anything would have been good. So the fact that the music is this, is this accurate and this quality is a godsend, really. Dude, you're such an asshole. Robo Ribbits. Okay. They got the freaky little tadpole shits. Game de- yeah. By the way, I have never understood Gemini Man's stage. I have never understood why it has these weird cell walls and, like, tadpoles and shit. I just don't question it. Also, better hit detection on the eggs in this game than in the original. In the original, they had to be scrolled, like, fully on screen to hit them. Gemini Man played a lot of Bioforce.
Wow, this is a little excessive. Christ's sake. Oh boy, okay. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, they're the, the penguin grinders. And in these, you actually hit the grinder on the top. So Mega Man on the Game Boy comes with its own unique challenges. Because of the smaller screen, you have a lot less space to respond to threats. And it can make certain things that were almost trivial in the original game significantly harder. I'm sorry, wait, ow. Well, shit. Yeah, okay, he's following me. They're not kidding about the stages being like the hard. Oh, fuck. They're not kidding about the stages being the hard part. Jesus. This feels like. This feels like the Doc Robot stages from 3. Oh my god, you started me back here? What the fuck? Is that the first, like, uh, drop large health I've seen all game? Appropriate, I remember AS Mega Man 3 having some brutal checkpoints, especially the Doc Robot, robot stages, yeah. That's the thing, I feel like we're starting with Doc Robot, which is kind of scary. Why are you fighting Sperm? Never seen Tad Bolts before, huh? Or I guess in this case, Robot Tadpoles. If I, if I do this, can I just slide through there? Yes, thank you, Jesus. Because family planning is illegal. We said Texas. I guess this is the easy way. Oh, god damn it. The moment I said something. The moment I was like, well, this is the way to do it. The game's like, fucking nope. Get owned. Okay, wait a minute. Those those guys normally take two hits to down. I only got a half Mega Buster charge off of that to hit that guy. And then I hit him again and he still didn't die. So are you telling me that the partially charged Mega Buster actually does less damage than your normal shot? Is that how I am to interpret this? 
Also, I think I'm gonna need an E-Tang to skip through the last leg of this shit. Okay, well, at least I don't have to worry about that this time. Wait, has it been three the whole time and I just haven't been paying attention? Uh, what? It has been three, okay. I was, I was miscounting earlier. Fuck, shit, oh my god. The exact same thing as last time, okay. All right, well, I survived that. Aha, you shit! Uh, I'm not even gonna bother trying the search snake, because I'm gonna die. This is it, this is what we're doing. Oh god! Okay. That happened faster than I thought I was going to. Room is too tiny for this kind of fight. Yeah, you have very you have basically no margin for anything there. I mean you can barely get in the middle before you have to start doing the cycle. Okay, well fortunately he is still weak to the search snake. Almost did that hitless. Obviously didn't, but I almost did. I got the Gemini laser. All right, so the problem is, in the original game, the Gemini laser was used against Needle Man, but we don't have Needle Man. We have Spark Man, and we have Shadow Man. And... Traditionally, Shadow Man's weapon is effective against Spark Man. So it kind of stands to reason that Gemini Man's weapon will work against Shadow Man, but if it doesn't, this is gonna turbo suck. <laughs> Like, suck really bad. Wow, it goes fast. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and die at the beginning so I can use a continue and get some lives back. We're 100%ing we're this game. I mean, I, I would like to beat it if I can, but it depends on how mean it's gonna get. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. So how hard do I have to hit this guy to stop him? Three fully charged shots is a lot. This is another really good approximation of the original song. guy. Wow, that actually hit him. I think that's the checkpoint. Probably. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Everything's fine. Just a straight up hand grenade on legs? Yeah, alright. Oh, fuck. I hate these guys. 
Okay, man, this game's a real asshole. Maybe because maybe he's because you have the charge buster in this. But in the original game, you could trigger those guys before you got to their platforms and get rid of them early. Always be charging. Yeah, I know strategically that's what you're supposed to do. I don't like doing that though because the sound is so annoying. Yeah, it cut on the Game Boy it cuts off an entire sound channel from the music. So I would really rather not. Okay, so he's weak against this, and I just missed. But it hit him anyway. I think I'm gonna die, though. Oh boy. 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 Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yo. Okay. Ah! Jesus. Okay, that was weirdly easy. <laughs> In Mega Man 3, he's basically Quick Man. That's impressive you missed him so hard that every angle the laser hit missed him too. Yeah, the Gemini beams in this one last a lot longer than in the original game too, so that was uh, kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. I love this guy is, is basically a big spark plug. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, damn it. That sucks. The weirdly easy says with one hit from death and almost no laser left. I mean, you gotta remember. Like, Shadow Man, Shadow Man in Mega Man 3 is like Quick Man in Mega Man 2. He's the one that everybody dreads fighting. The only reason he's not as dreaded as Quick Man is because he, there's a really, really effective weakness for him. As long as it doesn't glitch out. Ow, you fuck. the music in Mega Man 3 more than Mega Man 2. I absolutely love the soundtrack in this game. Pick up weapon and charges without the special beam select to do anything? No. Nope, you have to wait until they introduce the power balancer in later games for that to happen. God, I freaked out. I freaked myself out. Okay, well, at least I can start from here. Okay, so it's two full charges and then just one tap. Probably favorite track from the original. Two fights real hard for to total the number of good stage songs. Yeah, I feel like the opposite. Oh God, those are really slow actually. I feel like, I feel like Mega Man 3 has more overall good songs, but Mega Man 2 has like my favorite. The, the first Wily theme. Okay. Okay, I know that already killed me once, but again, kind of weirdly easy. Okay. 
Damn it. Does anybody like Hammer Joes? Oh no! God damn it! Ah! Fuck, dude! Don't like an enemy with that, that many invincible frames. I feel like it's a real hard thing to balance so that it's actually fun. And I feel like, like, Hammer Joes and Sniper Joes and all of them tend to be uh, in invulnerable for a little longer than I would prefer. Kinda makes me want to go back and play like OG Mega Man 3 and and do Sparkman stage just so I don't feel like I'm going insane. This music is good. <laughs> Nasty jumps are just the level designers way of making sure you get to hear the songs in here more than once. Um, they're honestly so much worse on Game Boy. Because everything is so much more cramped on Game Boy. It just it just makes everything feel like extra awkward and terrible. Also, okay, I'm sure you've noticed, like, the frame rate, like, dying here. That's making these jumps really... Fucking hell. That's making these jumps suck really bad. Because I think... I think because this is slowing down, it's not registering, like, half presses and stuff. Safe. 
Right, right, right. This is where I died. This is where I died. Go down the middle. Go to No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Oh, fuck. Okay. 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 Just in time for my request! Sub D thought. I'm scared. I'm scared now. Why are there spikes up there? What the hell is going on? I think I prefer hammer jazz to sniper jazz. I can't say I really like either. It's close. Oh, oh, good. Okay, this is the way down. Okay, spikes. Spikes. Uh, gross. Okay, spikes. Man. Thank God. All right, presumably this is Shadow Blade. God, I hope it is. Mm. Yeah, it is. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, 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 okay. I don't appreciate that at all. Whatever, I don't care. God, I, I thought for the briefest second I died there when he did his like eight directional uh, shot. Dr. Wowie! What does Dr. Wowie want? He should try building these things in places with better weather. Yep, that's Castle. Do we have to? Fuck. Oh god, it's the breakaway platforms from 3 2. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, fuck. I panicked because I thought that one was gonna disappear. Okay. God, fuck you. Dr. Wowie has been trying to reach you with important news about your car's extended warranty. More of this. <laughs> oh, it's been a lot more than 15 tonight, that's for damn sure. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. Um, what the fuck do you want? Do you want to be spark shotted? Spark shot seems reasonable. Oh, Lord. Ow. Ow. Everything is really painful. Your iframes suck, bro. Oh, God. That wasn't it. Oh, no. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Cool. How many deaths can you count for your battleship losses? I mean, there were hundreds of lives lost on each of those ships sunk. Okay, um... Alright, I barely remember how this shit worked in Mega Man 4. It looks like we got Dive Man, Skull Man, Drill Man, and Dust Man.
spark shot's gotta be our in somewhere. Does the magazine say anything? No. No, it doesn't. Nintendo Power offers no no solace, no respite. We'll try Dive Man since I have the spark shot. I'm just guessing here. Hundreds try thousands. Fish! M fish. So Nintendo Power does warn us that these levels are way harder than the first four. So that's great. Really excited for that. Well, oh right, these are the guys with the crazy ass homing missiles. Ow! Fuck you. Where are we going? I'm sorry, where are we going? Are we jumping this? Okay, we are. Sure, why not? The fuck is this? Ah! Huh. I almost feel a little bad about my mercenary attitude toward my job, but I know I shouldn't. Yeah, you absolutely shouldn't. No compunctions. No mercy. No grabby hands. No, fuck off. Dude. This is absurd. This is bonkers for like stage five. Yeah! Oh, the water really fucks you up here. Crew compliment of an Iowa class battleship with his most recent configuration is 1,800 people? Jesus. No, I really don't like these. Oh, I fucking hate these things. I have hated them in every single Mega Man game. Sure, why don't you slide under it? Maybe if it feels like jumping high enough for you to do that. You won't know until it does it though. Uh, <laughs> okay. Can't wait to get iced by a fucking Met. I love spikes. Yeah, can't can't get enough of them. Whoever designed this game saw Bubble Man stage and was like, "Yes, this is this is what we all need to aspire to in life." This is stupid, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you die to a Met, you actually have to stop playing. Well, that's nice at least. So here's, what, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go up here, and I'm, the moment I see an enemy, I'm gonna use an E-Tank, because I don't wanna have to go back to the checkpoint, and then I'm gonna fall on some spikes and die. That's what's gonna happen. Or I may just skip straight to the falling on spikes and dying part. Okay, well, fortunately, and I didn't think about this until after I pushed the button. Fortunately, opening your menu doesn't kill your jump momentum, like it does in some of the games. You see something in Mega Man that looks like a bomb. It's a bomb.
He tactically uses momentum drop in those games? No, not really. Okay, what is this? Like, what the fuck am I even looking at here? Okay, I guess that's technically possible, but I'm gonna rush coil this anyway. And watch it just not fucking work. Okay, good, it worked. Okay, I don't have water physics on me. This is what we in the industry call some bullshit. It's just, it's so excessive. Like, they're using, they, they are using gimmicks from Dives Man's original stage, but like, they're remixing it in the worst ways. Okay, that's where we're going? That's where we're going, okay. 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 We made it. Woo! Whee! All right. The I'm. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother with the weapon. Torpedoes. Nuclear vessels. Well, that went well. Love this stuff when I was a kid. Because when you when you were a kid, you had more time to put up with this bullshit. I spent months of my life working out how to play Ninja Gaiden 2, which is why I'm so good at it now. I didn't spend months of my life playing Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy, so now I'm struggling as a 40-year-old man trying to play it. Can't fool me, those are homing dildos. I was over here being all I, I, all I love Star Wars and quoting Star Trek. Actually, actually, it is possible to love both. And recently, I've been watching a lot of like Star Trek clips and stuff on YouTube. I really, honestly, I really want to get Paramount Plus and watch some old Star Trek. I've just been in the mood lately. I don't know if this is a Game Boy palette or what. I'm noticing the backgrounds more than I did on the NES. I think it's probably the palette. I think it's probably just having less less colors and stuff to work with. All right, something, something in my heart of hearts tells me that dive missiles are gonna work on Drill Man. Let's try it. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. Am I gonna hate this? Yep. The fuck are you? It's like a biblical angel. It has like infinite eyes that just rotate around. Care about you? Oh, these. Man, they stay switched for a long time, though. Which probably means there's a fuckload of them. Never mind. Ah, huh, okay. Like on the counters, I feel like there was a missed opportunity. Ow. No! Yeah. to look for spikes first. I'm so I'm, I'm sorry, look. Those guys should never take more than one hit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but oh my god.
Oh lord. <laughs> Yay! We get to do it again! <sighs> Thanks. I hate it. Don't care about you. Ow! Quit! 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 Whoop! Ah, oh, the hell doesn't re- Oh, fuck. Well, I may have really fucked that up. Okay, I'll take it. Thanks! That's... That probably just kills you, right? Because it's... Un unlike... Unlike Mega Man 3 proper, I don't think you can pass through them. I think you only pass through them while they're open. I have an idea, though. Could I, like, rush coil this? I can! Alright, there we go. I can just cheat. Oh, I was about to say. Two yoga blocks. They almost alternate, okay. I'm gonna break something! Oh my fucking god. Love Mega Man games. Boy, howdy. Boy, yo, boy, yo, boy. Do I love me the Mega Man's gameses. And Mega Man games love you. Yes, they do. Actually, what I'm really excited about is we have five to look forward to after this. Five, five is just like all the bullshit. <gasps> okay. All right, I'm pretty proud of that. I feel pretty good about that. All right, fuck that. Kind of love that involves whips, chains, and lots of spikes. <laughs> lots of spikes. What? Oh no. Oh no. Do not want. Oh god, I don't want it. Oh god, I don't want it. Okay. Okay. So wait, you can't actually jump up there. So like... Well, I guess, I guess at this point they're designing the levels with Rush Coil in mind because you have to have it to have gotten this far. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I saw it flink, I saw it flashing. I saw it flashing right before it did that. Well, at least I didn't waste at least I didn't waste uh, an E tank on that bullshit. He clearly said no, 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 no. <laughs> Game, isn't there someone you forgot to ask? How, what are you even supposed to do there? Like, how do you just, how do you not take damage there?
Shoot the rocks as they fall, they don't fragment. Okay. There you go. Oh god. Well, I'm okay with this, honestly. This I'm not okay with. I do not consent. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. I predict dive missiles. Yeah, okay, cool. Great. Yeah! Okay, yeah, the bosses in this game are stupidly easy. It's just the levels that are bullshit. That's kind of weird for a Mega Man game. Do I know where to take the drill? Mm, nah. Nah. Um. I'm gonna do Dust Man. And now you can tell me if I was right or not. I completely missed opportunity drill countering a skull makes way more sense. Sigh. <laughs> Wait, you can't even slide through these. You are such a dick. Don't try to butter me up now. You're already a dick. those guys either. Yo, okay. What are you doing? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I thought I had that. No! That is stupid. This is even stupider. Christ alive. This guy's gonna kill me. Uh, well, I'm full on E-Tank, so fuck it. Interesting. <laughs> uh, ah! Oh my god, I hate these shield things so much. Was a humiliating penalty if you ever dying to a helm again? Um, yeah. No! No! Sorry, what? <laughs> A humiliating penalty for dying to Helm again. You're not allowed to play Mega Man games anymore.
I actually don't know if you can touch those without dying. What? Dude! Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, you can't touch them. No. Forgot to take those out. I think I've had enough. I, th I think, I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough. And metrics, some bullshit re recorded. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I meg it as many mans as I could. I meg it as hard as I could. You can see perhaps the worst room in any Mega Man game I can recall. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I'm really sorry I fucking missed that then. Don't worry, chat. If you enjoyed watching me struggle tonight, guess what? Saturday is gonna be Mega Man 5 on the NES. The mean one. All right, so we didn't get to see Skull Man stage. We didn't fight Punk. We didn't see the Wily stage, which I bet are just fucking atrocious. Requires Rush Jet, which you get from Dustman. Okay. All right, now this is cool though. This is this is really cool. The Mega Man uh, Robot Design Contest. With each new Mega Man game, Capcom releases. We're all on the edge of our seats, waiting to find out what new bosses will be on hand to confront and test the powers of the megas here of all, Mega Man. Judging from the responses we got from you, there won't be a shortage of new boss robot ideas for, for Capcom to choose from. The people at Nintendo Power and Capcom would like to thank every person who took the time to design, draw, and send in their ideas. There aren't any guarantees that the robot designs featured on the page will likely actually appear in a future Mega Man game, but certainly wouldn't surprise us if they did. <clears throat> It requires Rush Jet, which you get from Dustman, so you have to use a perfectly timed damage booster to Rush Coil instead. What, like, in Dustman stage? That is super fucked up. <clears throat> that is really stupid. Well, they had to put Optic Man veins and all in, yeah. So what did they actually end up doing? Uh, there's B-Man, there's Dart Man. I think they did do a Blade Man. Isn't there Blade Man in like Mega Man 6, if I remember correctly? There's no Optic Man that I can recall. Blade is an 8, thank you. Freeze Man, there, Freeze Man I think is in 7. <laughs> Fart Man? No, we'll get to that eventually. I think he's called Zero. Scorpion Man, no, though I have to assume there was one of those stupid bullshit Mega Man X bosses that was a scorpion at some point. Spring and freeze in eight, okay. Or in seven, yeah. Um, let's see, I am currently covering up the majesty of Copter Man, which I feel like may have turned into Arrow Man. Plasma Man looks a little over-designed for Mega Man. Smoke Man looks really cool. I always thought this was a really cool drawing. This game has Liam Neeson's Dark Man in it. What does the pink Mega Man say? Um, this is Clone Man. Dr. Wily made me just like that fool Mega Man. However, my Mega Buster is twice as powerful. Hey, wait a minute, I just called myself a fool. Hmm, this might be more difficult than I expected. <laughs> There's Sun Man, which honestly, I feel like is just a lift of Pharaoh Man with the benefit of hindsight. Uh, Volt Man is very, very much like a Spark Man redesign. Yo-Yo Man. Diamond Man? I mean, there's a Crystal Man. It looks like Gemini Man with the theming of Crystal Man from 5. Diamond Man, the man who missile exploding four diamonds. Uh, some folks came with some new Rush 
things, a rush cannon, a rush cycle, and a rush pellet gun. I don't believe any of these actually came to fruition. Oh, but that's not all, chat. You toast, Mega Dweeb. We got Steam Man. We got Adam Man. Glue Man is probably the most visually impressive out of all of them. Middle of the left-hand page. Like, the art for this dude is really, really cool. And it's a cool concept, too. Um, first, I'll paste Mega Man on the blast from my glue cannon, and then I'll charge and bash him with my spiked head. Like, I feel like this, this could have been, like, a genuinely really good uh, boss. I'm kind of surprised they never actually took him. Um, Dial Man, Storm Man, Frost Man, Magic Man, Clock Man, Whip Man. I think Weaseletta and Terror Teddy, I think Weaseletta was supposed to be like Dr. Wily's granddaughter or some, something. His kids draw very well, yeah. Some Mega Woman and Mega Girl. Then over here we got Spook Man, Power Man, Wind Man, Ura Uranium Man, right in right in the middle of the right hand page. Uranium Man looks like something from like um, Killer Instinct or something. They wanted girl ro robots even back then. Yeah, Insect Man, Clown Man happened, didn't he? Clown Man is in like nine. I don't remember. Nuke man. People want to be represented? Hell yeah, they do. He was an eight, okay. Good things these kids never discovered Sonic. And then I am covering up... Slice man. That's just Wolverine. You can't tell me otherwise. Another blade man. A blader man. Black man. And cosmic man. Just, let's just kind of, just kind of cover this one back up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let's let's just let's just move on. Uh, some of the boss, boss robots that appear in Mega Man Five were the result of a design comp test similar to this one that was held recently in Japan. Check out the Mega Man Five review in this issue. See how those robots measure up. If we're lucky enough to see a Mega Man Six from Capcom. We might just see some of these designs included. Needless to say, we can't wait. Can you? We didn't think so. Terrible jokes rate themselves so we don't have to. You're a toast, Mega Dweeb. And then Mega Man just throwing shade on all the kids. Nice try, guys, but you'll have to try harder. See you around next time. Whatever, asshole. Wind Man looks cool. Wind Man's a pretty cool design. Nice dynamic pose. But yeah, Glue Man was always my favorite. I was always super impressed with this one. Like, just a really cool looking design. All right, what's next? Okay, actually, next up is Mega Man 5, so I think this is where we're gonna call it for the evening, because obviously, I'm not starting Mega Man really said, fuck them kids. Obviously, I'm not starting Mega Man 5 at midnight on a Thursday, but, but, big old but, uh, we will start this up first thing on Saturday, once we get past the whole, you know, rambling phase of, of the stream, so. So I think that's gonna do it for tonight. We did uh, we did survive Mario and Wario and and f face some uncomfortable truths about about our classic plumber protagonist. Uh, we made it through the Game Boy games, playing all of the Game Boy games. I did not survive Mega Man Three, but I find no shame in that. I think a rush cannon could be a cool idea, or using rush as a power up to the Mega Buster. We did get the rush armor in, um, that was first in six, right? And you got a special weapon out of that, so. They did consider these things. But yeah, um, on Saturday, we'll pick right back up with this. We will play Mega Man 5. I can beat Mega Man 5. I have beaten Mega Man 5 several times before. Um, whether or not I beat Mega Man 5 on Saturday, is another question entirely because like I keep saying, this is a really mean game. <laughs> and you can fuck yourself up pretty badly uh, if, if you do the wrong things at the wrong time in this game. 
Six does rush turning into basically a power suit that gives you a shot that'll break bricks. Oh, okay, okay. Similar, I guess, to what you get in uh, nine then. Oh, and seven. The, the, the rush suit's in seven too, isn't it? I think that's mainly where I remember it from. So yeah, uh, in between now and Saturday, there is of course Friday, and we will be doing a weird old wheel tomorrow night. I've uh, grabbed some point and clicks and adjacent games that y'all have recommended uh, via the spreadsheet that the bot have, has been annoying you with all night. Uh, we'll play some of them and we'll look for something that might be worth doing a full playthrough of. Might there be something on the list, on the wheel, that's worth our time? Maybe. So yeah, that's the plan. That's gonna do it. Six has a fun version of Rush yet. Also, I think it's important to, to point out, we're not even halfway through this issue. Um, the rest of the content isn't really like game reviews and guides and stuff, but there may be a lot of just random stuff random garbage really <laughs> that you're gonna want to request so once we get past the nes stuff we're kind of in uncharted territory i don't actually remember all the bonus stuff uh in this issue so it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting once we get past that point so but yes uh thanks for the schedule laughs my pleasure grunt fodder <laughs> Let's go find somebody to raid. Somebody, I guess, who can manage their schedule. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. Let's go see Blue Zest. Blue Zest is playing something called Against the Storm, which sounds pretty cool. And it has Twitch integration, which could be neat. So yeah, let's have, let's have us a look-see. Let's see how that's going. There we are. All right, gang. Well, once again, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for joining me for yet another installment of the Oh So Cozy Power Hours. Uh, it's been a fun one. I have enjoyed experiencing the games that we have experienced tonight, uh, even if some of them made me want to rage at times. But, you know, it's all part of the experience. It's all part of... of revisiting these classic games that that came into being before concepts like not horribly pissing off your players <laughs> and you know what we will explore more of that on saturday so hopefully i will see you then or tomorrow night for the weird old wheel but regardless whenever it is that i do see you until then as always y'all take care bye everybody <laughs>